Boker Tov Chavrim. I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. And uh, friends, right now we are, uh, we are seeing uh, a, a major fighting breakout over uh, in Ukraine against the, uh, the, the Donetsk People's Republic, the so Luhansk People's Republic as well. There has been offensives that have been launched by the Ukraine government. Uh, of course, the Ukraine government is uh, saying vice versa. Uh, in an article that they have here, they're saying that um, uh, that Russia attacked the uh, Svet Darsk Duha in Donbass enemy retreat, many dead and wounded. There have been claims thus far that there have been as many as 25 uh, uh, Donetsk People's Republic uh, people killed in the battle. 30 have been injured, according to reports that are coming out of there thus far. Uh, and, and, uh, and this uh, particular article here on the Ukrainian website here, uh, the photo that they are showing here has been reported by some to be old, uh, old photos, old video that is being used about the war that is actually, uh, that this is not the actual... Anyway, there, there, there are claims that this, this, this video here is, and let me just uh, share that a little bit with you again. Now, whether or not this is really uh, old video footage or not, I do not have the ability to say. There has been one uh, man on, uh, on the, uh, um, uh, Twitter page there that claims that this footage here being posted by the Ukrainian government there that this footage is not actually from that battle that it is actually from an older battle in 2014 as what I'm ass assuming that they're trying to say there uh, about this uh, so at, at any rate there there is a battle going on whether or not the footage is is new old or whatever uh, still stands to be seen uh, Mikhail he is actually the one that I actually first caught the information from, that there is a battle going on. He started bringing this out uh, yesterday. It says, news agency uh, uh, Nova Russia just uh, emitted an urgent message saying Poroshenko could start a major offensive tonight. Uh, so Nova Russia was correct. There is There has begun a major offensive uh, by the uh, Ukrainian government to retake uh, these areas here. And yet there's still another article by the Ukrainian government that came out today saying that they're going to abandon this region. Well, not according to what uh, uh, Nova Russia is reporting and not according to what's happening. Uh, Mikhail later goes in and says, uh, latest casualty report mentioned, mentioned five to six Ukrainian soldiers have lost their lives today in fighting around uh, Svet uh, Lodarsk sector uh, there in Ukraine. And then it just continues on and on and on uh, through the night uh, as he continued to cover uh, one, one thing after another, hour by hour, heavy artillery heard in the southwest. Now, uh, mortars still firing a lot of times in uh, Zavanki area. Uh, and he was just continually, he has been bringing up exactly what's been going on all day yesterday. Uh, according to what he was saying here, the fighting has not stopped, and from what we could tell, no, the fighting had not stopped. Uh, the uh, Donetsk or Donbass News, uh, their international news, which is this site right here, Doni News, Donbass International News Agency, is reporting this morning Ukraine used heavy artillery to support an attack on Kalanovka, uh, the Luhansk People's Republic, that's the LPR defense. The offensive on Sunday was carried out with the support of mortars and artillery weapons and defense authorities of the Luhansk People's Republic said more than 150 shells were fired at the defender's position. The main attempt at the offensive was made by a unit of Ukrainian armed uh, forces consisting of some 40 people with military hardware near the uh, Kalinovaka settlement. The attack was carried, carried out with the support of mortars and artillery weapons. Uh, and, of course, it's kind of limited in what they're saying there. But nonetheless, there is a major offensive going on. Uh, we will try to get up, uh, check in with Nova Russia to see what they're saying about this as well. Uh, but it did, uh, I, I would assume this morning it's probably quietened down somewhat. Uh, but there has been, and from what reports we've been able to uh, find thus far, there has also been a breach 
by the Ukrainian government. Uh, they actually did make some headway in this fight. But again, the reports on both sides are conflicting with each other. Uh, one claims gains on one side and the other claims the gains on their side. So we still are not sure as of yet what's going on. And we're still waiting to try to get some actual video footage of these, uh, this event of what's happening there inside of Ukraine. Uh, moving on into other news as well in Israel, um, uh, we find on Jerusalem Post there the IDF uncovers a large weapons making factory in Hebron basement. Security forces suspected that the factory had been in operation for a while, but an exact amount of time was unknown uh, according to the reports that they have there. Uh, and not only that, even Israel, they get into a skirmish uh, as well with Hamas. Uh, in Gaza there, there, there's been no reports of injury or damage, but Israel has actually returned fire with tanks. Uh, response to the Gaza border uh, shooting there. There was a shooting there at the border there. Uh, shots were fired by IDF troops stationed on the border near the southern, southern Gaza Strip on Monday morning. The military said there were no reports of injury or damage in the incident, but shortly after, the IDF responded with tank fire targeting Gaza-based Hamas positions. The army told farmers in the area to stop working with fields and to remain in their homes, according to Channel 10 News. The cross-border incident occurred days after reports of alleged that the Mossad, Israel's foreign intelligence agency, assassinated a Hamas military operating out of Tanzania. So it's kind of like... Uh, Hamas is retaliating against Israel for that, and of course Israel is st putting a stop to it rather uh, rapidly. I'm Stephen Benu with a quick take of our broadcast this morning with Israeli News Live here on December the 19th.